I've done several mistakes in the past when I not checked <laughs> what side I was gluing up in and ended up with pictures being on the other way around. Not that it matters, but it does on a certain extent. Ciao beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all well and safe. Today I am playing with the prompt for the um, Volistef Art uh, Club journal and the prompt for this fortnight is napkin decoupage or napkin sorry. Um, so I wanted to do this video for a very long time but I have ordered before for, I think it was before New Year's Eve, some napkins on eBay and they finally arrived today. Um, let me zoom out slowly so you can see them in, in all shape. So I've got this one which I'm going to use today and that's the reason why I bought it. Uh, they were, when I say £2, uh, very expensive because there's only a few, it's not a lot. So it's one of everything. So we've got this one with the bird, this one with the butterfly. I love these. This one, it looks like a postcard. Very pretty. Um, this one. Actually like this, I think it goes, yeah. Then this one here. Very really pretty. The daisies. This one with just a simple green background with some leaves peacock which i'm going to use for the art club and this one here okay so i'm going to be playing with this one and the peacock one so for the Woolly Stuff Art Club, I'm going to, this is a six by six, because my album is six by six. So I'm simply going to glue that in there first, and then we're going to decorate it. This one here, the one with this lovely vintage bird and roses, I'm going to decorate. So this is the journal we made together. So you saw me making the actual journal. You saw me making the cover. And you also saw me making the clusters. There's two clusters here. Now, let me zoom out more. So we're going to do the first page, which is actually opens like this. Okay. So I already cut this piece of paper. It measure eight by, I can tell you, it is eight all eight three quarter by eight and a bit less than a three quarter put that back so i'm going to glue this image in here now because i'm working so to me this is a page okay so as i decide i'm going to work this journal each page is this rectangular here so this one is the beginning of another page okay so I'm going to uh, cut these into a rectangle and then I'm going to decoupage that into here. Now, past experience has told me that if I want to glue this one in here, you won't be able to see anything because the napkin becomes almost transparent. You won't be able to, to see it because you see all this beautiful printed background. While if you do on a back on a white background, it will work. So I'm gonna do that. So once that is decoupaged it, well decoupaged with the napkin, I'm going to glue down there and I'm gonna glue down the two pockets, but only gonna glue down it, which I'll show you this side here. So I create a pocket so I will be able to put things in there. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I will be right back with you guys in just a moment. Okay guys, I left it to dry overnight, so I am fil filming the following day and I'm just going to cut a little inch off the, the rectangular, just over that side and I think a little inch from here as well. Ok, 
Okay, so it's totally, totally dry. And I've got here my journal. So I'm going to open up like that. So for, so this is the page, right? So for this page here, I've got some idea. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop these two triangles there because I don't need them. So gently cut that. So chop these off. One. And we do the same. In fact, it's probably better if I move it this way. Oh yeah, that's so much easier. Just need to make sure not to cut the feather. I've, I have some idea for that. I'm going to do like a multi-pocket um, page, but I'll do that in a separate video. So I'm going to yeah, get rid of that. So we're back to our page like that, okay? So this page we just done today, this little insert, I'm only gonna, st I'm gonna, gonna glue it this side here so we got a pocket, okay? So literally I wanted to be able to fold it up like that. So I've got my double side tape. Let me just make sure, so that, so it goes on this side here. I've done several mistakes in the past when I'm not checked <laughs> what side I was gluing up and then ended up with pictures being on the other way around. Not that it matters, but it does on a certain extent. So, okay, so I'll put that in there. And then just need my paper piercer. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there because I needed that again in a minute. So we're going to put that there. Perfect. So you've got this little flap that works as a pocket. And then what we're going to do, guys, I cut another piece of acetate. Let me see it now. And again, we're going to put it on top. And again, same thing. We're only going to glue it this side. So again, I get one pocket there and one flap there. So it gets like three little pockets into one, if it makes sense. So I just need to, yeah, so I can see it better what I'm doing. So a little strip of double side tape. So it's attached to that. So one flap, two flap. So you've got one pocket there, one pocket there. What we're going to do, we're going to glue this triangles on top. So again, I get another pocket. So it's kind of like one, two. So one, two, three, four pockets. That's not bad, is it? Four pockets in one page. And I'm going to stuff it with lots of ephemera that I already made last year well 2021 so fill these off yep so we've got a pocket here just gonna press it down moving that and then we're gonna do the same on this side here Right, done. So that's the first page done. So I've got a pocket there, a pocket here. That I can probably show you better with that. So I've got a pocket there, 
a pocket here, if I can get to it. Pocket there and a pocket there. So one, two, three, four pockets. Okay. So that's the journal. I'm going to leave that into one side. Then we're going to get back the um, this one with the peacock feather. So I just need to cut the excess napkin. So literally, just really quickly, this is going to be glued down on my uh, art journal so you won't see any of this. And then it's just a bit here. Just there. So let me get rid of this rubbish. So as you can see guys, I made a bit of a mess here when I was gluing it with the... Um, with the brush so i just unfortunately i went a bit heavy there and i just ripped it off a bit but never mind never mind what i thought to fix it we're going to use i got this page this is from um i want to say the shabby shade of blue i'm sure that's what it's called from um, happiness and crafting by the gk and what i did i cut the heart and this little uh, embellishment so i'm gonna get my no, that's the, that's the glue. I'm going to get my glue again. And then we're going to put the heart there to fill up the mess. So this literally will cover it. I think it works because we've got lots of these beautiful flowers. And I think it works really, really well with the background. And then I thought we're going to also use this little image here. Just there. I just don't want to add much, guys, because I want to, you to see this beautiful, beautiful peacock image. But because this is so subtle, it blends really 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 well with the background i think so yeah and then just to finish it off it wouldn't be my project without a bit of gold so we're just going to get yeah. and also i think gold and peacock <laughs> works really i mean look at that really really well together and because you get the, uh, and I do this to be fair with all my napkin decoupage. When you do the napkin decoupage, no matter how careful you are and how precise you want to be, you're still going to get a texture because the tissue, no matter what you do, it's not going to be flat on your paper. So you always, always going to end up with this beautiful texture. But if I go really light when my finger will less with less wax you will see all this beautiful crap little cracks in there and what i'm going to do i'm going to be all i'm going to go all over it i just make sure i haven't got a lot of paint and it can you can you hear because it's a very um it's, it's very tactile if it makes sense it's very it's beautiful texture We're just going to en enhance those little cracks. Just need a tiny bit more, I think. Yeah. Am I happy with that? I think a tiny bit more here. Yeah, so as you see, guys, put these off. It's all about the peacock and the gold. Yeah, I think I am super happy with that. Okay, so guys, I hope I gave you some ideas of what you can do with the well with napkins and also with napkins decoupage. Um, love this. I'm going to put it down on my art journal now. Um, and then I hope you guys. I don't want to touch it too much because still got a bit of gold in here. 
I hope you like my first proper completed page of this journal. I love the clusters and I love the background. So if you want to see how I made the clusters, just look back a few videos ago so you can see how I made them as well. Right, guys, I'm going to go. Have a wonderful, wonderful day whatever you guys doing thank you so much for watching if you like this video guys please only give me a thumbs up i don't want you to do anything else uh, because that will support the uh, the video right thank you ever so much for watching guys take care and until next time stay safe and well